So, this is just a quick and dirty video. Um, if you're a watcher of my channel, uh, you're probably familiar with my Think Center MATX case mod sort of project. And that's nice, but it's a non K4770. Uh, it's long in the tooth, whatever. And basically, I'm just really excited because I've never had current gen hardware. Um, I've never had current gen hardware in a machine except for maybe a laptop. And, um, yeah, and never, I've never bought anything on release date. But, I mean, I'll be honest, life is shit. Life is extra shit to me. Uh, whenever I manage to save up money, it screws me over. But, even though I'm getting screwed over a little bit lately, it hasn't drained my bank account completely. So I decided to treat myself. And... I got a 5800X. Um, yeah. Uh, so I don't have a motherboard for it yet because I was going to use an ASRock. I was going to upgrade my system with the ASRock B450M Steel Legend. I love the look of this thing. But um, I'd have to wait till January for a beta BIOS. Um, and the VRMs in it aren't great, so I'm going with the MSI. B550M mortar, the non-Wi-Fi one, because I want the black to blend in better with my case. That's going to take maybe up to a week to get here, which is going to be painful. Um, what's also painful is that uh, since I was going to upgrade to 3000 series, I already have an EK quantum velocity water block here. Uh, so this has been taunting me for a while. Now this is going to taunt me too. Um... But to cash in on some sweet YouTube clickbait and maybe get subscribers or something, I don't know. I figured I'd do an unboxing. Uh, because the 5800X... Um, oh, yeah, it doesn't come with a cooler. Uh, so I was strongly considering the 5600X. 65 watts on that, 105 watt TDP on this. I figure I've been doing a bit of photogrammetry and stuff. And even though the 5600X is going to be way better than the 4770... I figured I would just go for the 5700X, uh, or the 5800X, because just, you know, I wanna, I'm not gonna upgrade for a long time, I'm sure. Uh, this thing is gonna have probably more overroom for head clock, or, he or headroom for overclocking. Um, you know, the extra two cores, it has an extra 100 megahertz on base and boost clock. Um, yeah, 3.8 gigahertz base, 4.7 boost. Um, I just... I don't know, you know, I, I feel like I deserve something nice and current and modern. Uh, so I figured I would do an unboxing. We opened it up at the store to check the specs. You can focus, please. There we go, if you want to look at the back. Not really much on the box. And so we will go ahead and actually open it up. And so you can see the spot where there would be a cooler, there is... Literally just a cardboard insert. Then, put that off to the side. Um, oh, yeah, BIOS updates in multiple languages, saying that you need one. I'm hoping I can just do BIOS flashback without a CPU. If not, I'll take it into the store. Oh, and installation instructions. Probably handy for some people, actually, because... I bet there are lots of people out there who have not dealt with pin grid array CPUs. Because uh, Intel's been the main thing, and LGA has been, landing grid array has been the main thing. But, here is the actual 5800X. I'm a little disappointed. That's just like a standard flat sticker. I was, or like the, the, like the sort of foil ones that Intel gives. I was kind of hoping that would be a bit higher end. Uh, it is It is an expensive processor. It's not as much as I thought it was going to be with taxes, though. Um, I guess maybe because, like, GST or PST, one of them doesn't apply. I thought it was going to be, like, 700 and something dollars. It actually ended up being cheaper than I thought it was. It was still about $700. Um, and so it's, it's not great value, but the 5900X is, again, a multiple, quite expensive. It's better value if you need the high processor count. 
I mainly went for this because of that frequency, uh, the extra frequency, uh, the higher TDP out of the box, and just because I'm hoping this will be a good sweet spot for overclocking, even though the value isn't great. I was really considering the 57 or the 5600X, but yeah, then we have our pin grid array on the back, and that's all there is inside the box for the 50. Oh, wait, no, hang on. There's a bonus. Some, ooh, nice closed cell foam. Ooh, that is, that is like super tempting to chew on. It's, it's one of those sort of textures. So that's what's inside the box of a 5800X. Um, not a whole lot. I'd rather see this than, oh my god, the Intel stock cooler? I didn't know the Intel stock cooler got so thin over the years. I was used to like, second and third gen is like the most I was dealing with the newest for a long time and they were like still reasonably chunky and they had a copper slug in the middle I didn't know that the Intel stock cooler got like super thin and like no slug or anything and it's absolutely pathetic now um so AMD stock coolers if you're not getting a 5800X way better than Intel I can tell you that I don't even have to look at them uh obviously I'm going with water cooling since my system is fully water cooled I hope I have enough slack and tubing for a different CPU position and stuff. Maybe I should order some more. I'm also going to like 3D print a thing to have front panel USB-C and new USB connectors and all sorts of whatnot. I mean, this new motherboard, actually, I could mount my GPU horizontally if I wanted to, but that then ruins the look. So, I don't know. That's nearly seven minutes. That is an overview and unboxing of the 5800X, and hopefully sometime in the next couple weeks... You guys will get to see a nice system upgrade putting this in, as well as uh, a local computer store shut down. I bought a bunch of their inventory, hard drives, and RAM to sell off and try and make a profit. I still haven't recovered 100% from that, just because of auction fees and stuff. But because of that, and because I've sold most of this, well, a good amount of the stuff, um, I'm going to be going with 64 gigs of Crucial Ballistics... Uh, 3200 megahertz RAM, which apparently is really good at overclocking. I would like RGB, but I haven't had luck selling the single stick or the single pair the uh, the 32 gig kit because I got three of them. I got three kits of the Ballistics 3200 megahertz DDR4. Um, I haven't had luck selling the one on eBay, so I was going to maybe put them all, all three up and try to get some RGB RAM, but I also think that <clears throat> my current case set up with the... I think RGB, even if it's more to the right, I think it's probably pretty good. That's why I didn't go for a, um, I didn't go for a DRGB water block, uh, because I think the amount of, like, RGB lighting I have in here, and even when it's set to a static color, I think that's good. I don't, I think if I had more in there, since this MATX would be a bit crowded, but, yeah, uh, unfortunately now, I'm just going to box this up. And it will just sit here taunting me, but I'm super excited.